my channel today i am going to be doing my nails using the products i got in from my if you haven't seen i made a haul about what i got in the mail from amazon so with further ado let's get started first i'm going to be pushing back my cuticles i don't know which hand to do so when pushing back your cuticles, you want to push them gently back with either a orange stick slash wooden stick or one of the metal cuticle pushers. You don't want to push them back rough because you can mess them up and it will hurt also. Because my nails are thin, I'm not gonna file them. I'm just gonna use a buffer to buff out, I mean, buff away the shine. This much of alcohol, wipe away that dust you can't get, and dehydrate my nails. I know what size I am, but you know, it's a gold pick mouth, so. Because, see, this is a size 10, right? Size 10. Let me get that close up. But, it's still kind of too big. So, I'm just going to file around it just a little bit. Handy dandy nail file. And I'm just going to shape the sides of it. Solid nail tip gel. I'll show you what it looks like again. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. So we're I'm going to be applying some nail tabs to my nails because, like I said in my nail haul, my nails are extremely thin. So using this kind of protects my natural nail and it's easier to pop off. So if you know, you're know you doing your nails at home practicing, I would 
definitely buy these and practice on them and then you just pop them off and you want to apply it to your nail Ooh. once it's on there it's on there so kind of only get like a one chance thing so i'm going to apply all of them to my nails and then peel off plastic part So after applying the nail tabs, I'm just applying some base coat over them so that the fully covered nail tabs will attach to it easier. So now I'm taking the full covered nail tip and scooping out a little bit of the solid nail gel. And then after that, I'll be applying it to my nail, pushing down to my cuticle and then pushing down to the tip of the nail, but not going over the free edge because you don't want to get this on your skin. So sometimes when you're pushing it down, it can get on your skin, so you can just scrape it off before curing. Now I'll be trimming down the full cover nail tips with some scissors. You can either use nippers, uh, nail tip cutters, or scissors to cut them. So now I'm going to be reshaping the nails into a square shape. So I'm just going to be falling back and forth with my nail file and using the 180 side grid. So now I'm buffing the shine away off the full cover nail tip. Now I'm on Pinterest looking for some inspo pics for my nail design.
So now I'm using the Model 1's cream polish. I'm going to be applying a thin coat from my cuticle to the end of the nail. Make sure you don't get this on your skin and if you do, you can just wipe it away with some either acetone or alcohol before curing. So for my first nail, I'm going to be making an alien face. So what I'm doing, I'm just making the like shape of the alien face. So I'm just going around. And after that, I'm just going to be filling it in with the green and reshaping it to make it look neat. So for my thumbnail, I'm doing a blue fringe tip. So I'm just outlining the fringe tip. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of the nail with the blue. So for this nail, I'm doing kind of a weird shape fringe tip. One side's going to be this color and the other side's going to be purple. Now for my pinky, I'm doing a fringe tip. So I'm just outlining the fringe tip and then filling in again so for this now i'm outlining a the middle of the flower the jikashi flower For this nail, I'm doing the um, other side of the fringe tip, which like I said before, is the purple. Now for the alien, I'm making the eyes using a dotting tool and just black gel polish sorry and i'll also be outlining the alien face with the same black gel polish Now for this nail, I'm going to be making the petals out of pink, orange, blue, green. I think that's all the colors I used.
For my thumbnail, I'm making some clouds using the cream gel polish from Model Ones. I'm using the white. I'm just using my dotting tool just to create some little dots and connecting them. For the Takashi flower, I'll be outlining and making two dots for eyes. Now going back to this French tip nail, I'm going to be taking a darker purple and outlining and taking a darker green and doing the same thing. Now I'm going to be top coating all the nails. Now I'm applying my cuticle oil and of course this is my favorite part. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and see you in the next video. And comment down below what you want me to do next time. Bye bye!